everybody, this is Noelle from Petites, and we're doing a little uh, backyard makeover behind us here, but we wanted to plant this beautiful panicle hydrangea, and guess what? It's July, and a lot of customers ask us, can you plant in July? Absolutely, you can plant anytime you want to. The thing about planting in the summer is you just have to pay attention to the increased watering maintenance or irrigation maintenance and um, you definitely want to fertilize and keep a close eye on the plant but other than that you're totally fine um, we've got a fairly sunny location so we did want to select the panicle hydrangea out of all the hydrangea families the panicle hydrangea is going to be the most sun tolerant and typically the most heat tolerant and also very very cold hardy um, so so this is a great selection for this area. Gets a um, little bit of shade in the morning, but gets a lot of sun in the afternoon through the evening. Um, so we decided to pick this um, dwarf panicle hydrangea. You can tell it's a panicle because you look at those cone-shaped flowers, okay? And um, the flowers normally on these varieties will start as like a creamy white. Um, sometimes they will start with a little bit of a green shade, like a limelight hydrangea, if you've ever heard of those. And then um, as they mature through the season, they will start to blush and pinken and different varieties will pinken or blush at a different rate. So it just kind of depends what um, pinky colors you like and so forth. But this is actually called bombshell. It is a dwarf. You're looking at the height really on this plant. It's going to get about, oh, let's say about three by three in the landscape at maturity. Um, but beautiful, beautiful uh, creamy white blossoms coming out right now. Lots of new growth underneath. This plant will continue to bloom and produce buds and it will really fill out and look gorgeous for us. We did, of course, incorporate biotone at the root system. Very, very important. Trying to establish your new shrubs, your new trees, even your new perennials and annuals. You can use biotone at the root base. So put it in the hole and then go ahead break up the root system, make sure it's not still rolling around in the pot. You wanna break up the roots and then go ahead and plant the plant. Here, we have it in a little bit of a raised area, which is good, so the water drains away. Plus, we kept the top of the root ball just slightly above the soil, so it is exposed. Again, that's another measure, because in clay soils, you wanna make sure that that water is draining away from the plant. Um, after we backfilled with a mixture of planting mix um, and also the existing soil, which is fine, you want to mix about half and half, we went ahead and we also tamped it down and then we mulched around it. So mulching is very, very important in the garden. It does reduce weed competition. It will also keep moisture in the soil around your plants and it looks really, really nice too. So typically we talk about no more than two inches of mulch around your plant material. You really don't need more than that. And one of the secrets is if you lift up the plants, you don't want the mulch going all the way up to the trunk or the crown of that plant. You want to make sure the mulch is kind of backed away from that plant a few inches. So when you go to water or it rains or you go to fertilize, you can still put that right where the plant needs it versus feeding the mulch or watering the mulch. So do make sure that you kind of, you know, push the mulch away a little bit so you have a good space where that root ball, the top of the root ball is still a little bit exposed there. Um, other than that, we're gonna get the hose out. We're gonna put it on a trickle. We're gonna put it right at the base of this hydrangea, let it run for about a half an hour and see how well it absorbs into the soil. And we're gonna keep an eye on it from there. Gonna do that about once a week if we don't get any rainfall. We've been getting a lot this year, um, but we'll see how it goes with this summer. So um, that's Panicle Hydrangea for you and enjoy.